Okay, uh, today I am, um, well not yet playing, uh, Skyrim. And there's two reasons which are connected. The first reason is that uh, Skyrim's having a free to play weekend. Uh, so you can you can download it and fire it up for free until I think uh, well it's 10 10 a.m. Pacific tomorrow, which works out I think at six o'clock. Six o'clock for us. And the second reason is that um, there's been a, a major announcement by Valve recently that they're, they're going to allow. <coughs> Uh, mod writers to start charging for their mods. Uh, in principle, in principle, this is a, a reasonable idea. I would have said there's no reason why uh, mod makers couldn't make any profit. The game that's been picked for the test is Skyrim, um, but it's made a lot of people very angry. Uh, uh, I think some of that anger is is misdirected, but you know some of the anger is a little justified on the basis that uh, Valve and uh, Bethesda are taking seventy five percent of anything you charge for your mod, um, and the mod writer will only get twenty five percent. Now, it's uh, it's possible that it's possible that if this thing becomes more widespread, and uh, we and we we get to see uh, other games with with modern communities, uh, the, the percentage, the seventy-five percent, I think, is mostly set by Bethesda. So. You know, normal market pressures will apply. In that games that games that uh, ha have a higher percentage for mod makers will be more attractive to mod makers. It's all going to be a bit awkward when it's all this is just basically latching onto an already thriving mod scene like like Skyrim. Anyway, I was playing around a little bit with this last night. This obviously is running in Wine. I had to install a .NET 3.5 in Wine to to get to get this all working. Hey, I can add mods just like you do in Windows. I think it's been added. Get to the library. Now so let's start up the game. So here we go. Data files. So at the minute, I've not got any of these uh, mods turned on. So what I'm going to do first is um, just fire up the game. We'll have a quick look around and uh, see what it's like without any mods on. So I'll continue from my last save. Uh, because I had some mods enabled. They're not there anymore. I don't think it matters. I don't think I picked anything up that was part of the mod. I was just turning them on and off. Okay, so this is me in Riverwood. Uh, without any mods enabled, we shall have a quick run around. Just so you can see, I'm sure if you played the game, you've seen it before. This is a uh, look at the map because that was one of the mods. Uh, while you're looking at this map, notice that uh, it's fairly cloudy and there are no roads on it. Which will be important later. So, 
Uh, obviously, I'm running this with Wine. Uh, I had to install Donna 3.5 in the uh, Wine prefix. But uh, being safe, I hope. Other than that, it it mostly works okay. Um, I'm not the graphics on high. Uh, there are a few audio glitches here while I'm uh, while I'm recording, and uh, there's some issues with the shadows. You see, the interesting glow you get around my arms there, but nothing, nothing. I think they would actually stop you playing. Uh, there we go, that was a quick look around. I'm now going to uh, exit the game. And uh, reload it. Now exiting, I will need to kill the process from the command line because it will lock up at this point. So I will cut the video and come back. Okay, so I'm loading up the game again. I just basically loaded the same save I loaded up last time. And you'll notice straight away that uh, it does look very different. For one thing, there are gates. Um, so there's a, I've got a mod here that, that uh, adds a lot of... Uh, extra cruft around Riverwood to make it look a bit uh, uh, a bit more uh, active and lived in was the guy, the way the uh, mod maker described it I'm uh, not sure myself but uh, you know, I'm a bit of a minimalist really just run through to the side where we were before no More trees. Some deer over there. All right. Let's just quick look at the map. So you notice now there are roads shown on the map. Uh, that's another one of the mods I installed. I quite like that one because uh, I did spend. Getting to uh, White Run first time was a rather strange case of trial and error. As so I tramped uh, forwards and backwards and then referred back to the map to figure out where I was and what road I was supposed to be on and things like that. And, and yes, I got lost several times and died once on what should have been a fairly straightforward uh, journey. Um, uh, now another one of the mods was slightly different, um, slightly different uh, building models. Oh, hanging moss, interesting. Is that a secret? She's sweeping. I'll leave her to it. We're a small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. A weird echoey sound, which I think is uh, also new down to be screen recording. I've not noticed it so bad. Sven and Hilt's house. I did a quest there earlier. Sleeping giant in, let's go in. You're that visitor been poking around. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Good to know. This day it's dragon attack Sounds like Hogwarts. So 
So anyway. You're someone who can get things done. I like oh. it. This is another one of the mods. I don't really want to steal a plate. I did do that accidentally earlier. I've got hats, death by guard. Need something? Let's not waste any time. So there you go. Now I've got a follower called Paula. Who has, has a very black face, which is interesting. Possibly some of the mods are incompatible. She still got a black face? Yes. Very funny. So this is an issue with a scary, scary black face woman. We've stopped. What is it? Ooh. I need to trade what some do things. You need to take? What have I got? Let's give her some armor. Oh, I've given her the armor I was wearing. How entertaining. She's still a black face. Now at least she's got some clothes on. So anyway, with a few glitches, these mods are working. Um, if you want to play Skyrim, if you've never played it before, you can have a go for free after you finish downloading it uh, up until tomorrow at 6 o'clock. If you want to buy Skyrim and uh, try out some of the uh, massive amounts of mods that are available, uh, it's also on a uh, big discount at the minute, 75% off. So, uh, if it's something you've always wanted to do, then, then now is your opportunity. Alright, so. Just a short addition, uh, I had to download a different um, texture pack, but now my follower pull up has a face, which is far better, I'm sure you'll agree. <laughs> 